No head tax! 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 Disagree, and we will we will have disagreements in the labor movement. But if we fight against each other, no head tax! No. I think I've seen you guys drown people out before, so I'm going to repeat this, no, this statement. No head tax! No head tax! No head tax! No No head tax! 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 Do you believe that other workers have the right to... No! Amazon is not the first big no head tax in the no head tax 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 benefit of big companies like Amazon Are you all able to catch our voices even though they're chanting? Yeah. Okay. Right in the microphone. Okay. You guys want to get a little closer? You don't want to speak? Don't you want to tell all these people you're You're interrupting. Please speak. Yeah, and then we'll speak. Let's hear it. I'm, sure that, right I'm sure that your brothers would like to hear your reasons. Brothers, why do you keep on them, bro? Because Amazon is a responsible ever. developer Yo. that pays living wage uh, wages and provides living wage jobs for the construction industry. They don't have a requirement to pay prevailing wage, but they do. They provide health insurance and retirement for iron workers on that project, all of these projects. They have provided more than one million man hours in the last year alone to provide family wage jobs for people in and around this community. Homelessness is an enormous issue, not just an Amazon issue. It needs to have a regional approach that is fair and reasonable, something that uh, this is not. And we would call for a more appropriate solution. We do know that the county executive and uh, the mayor of Seattle uh, announced today that they are working together to come up with a more regional approach, and we support that. Thank you. Hey, Chris. There is a concern, a legitimate concern about construction jobs because Amazon has issued this extortionary threat against construction jobs. We stand in solidarity with the entirety of the labor movement that demands union rights for all workers, decent standards of living, and we will continue to work together. Even when we disagree, we, uh, we would urge everybody in the labor movement to disagree respectfully with one another and listen to each other, listen to each other, because the reality is that this is classic divide and rule. When we fight against each other as workers, the only people that win are the bosses, the capitalist class. So when we have disagreements, let's talk about it and let's recognize that even through those disagreements, our interests as workers, whether you're a tech worker or a construction worker,
worker or a forklift driver or a teacher. We stand together because our interests are tied with one another and not with the bosses. And let us not let the bosses take advantage of us. So, what should we do in the face of Amazon's threat? Should we say, okay, we can't pass this tax now because Amazon is going to take away jobs. But what would the consequence of that be? Let's think through this a little bit. If we don't tax big business in our region to massively fund publicly owned affordable housing, the only consequence of that will be an exacerbation of the already massively acute housing, affordable housing crisis, the skyrocketing rents, and the exploding homelessness. That is going to be the consequence because the housing market has failed us. And make no mistake, the housing crisis is not Seattle's alone. The housing crisis is being faced by every single metropolitan area in the United States. So, the only conclusion of backing down and accepting Amazon's extortionary threat will be a continuation and an intensification of the race to the bottom, not just in Seattle, but nationwide. But is there another alternative? Let's think through that. What is starkly stunning to me about this is the size of Amazon's wealth relative to the, uh, the tax that the draft legislation is demanding. Amazon is claiming that they, can legit they should legitimately move jobs away from here and hold construction because... Hey, hey, freedom of speech, America! <laughs> we have to recognize that what Amazon has done is not stand with construction workers. They are not standing with construction workers. They are in fact yet another big corporation in the history of US capitalism to have resorted to bullying and extortion in the face of a courageous movement of working people who are fed up with inequality, acute housing shortage, skyrocketing rents, and exploding homelessness, or homelessness around the country. The, this is happening in the era of Donald Trump where in addition to the already difficult living standards, we are facing ongoing brutal cuts to housing and services. The fact that Amazon has come out publicly with its public threat is a testament to the strength of our movement. As I said before, I stand in solidarity with the iron workers local and with all construction workers. I am a rank and file member of the Teachers Union of the American Federation of Teachers Local 